Hi, what's up, everybody? Welcome back uh, to 1949. We've got the Yankees and the White Sox here for you. And um, as you've probably guessed, the Yankees are on, I think, a six-game winning streak and are 13-4 and four right now. Not playing quite as well as the Pirates are, but they're up there with them. Phil Rizzuto hits a little fly ball over to uh, Scala, the center fielder, for the first out here off of Howie Judson. And that brings up Tommy Henrik, and he takes a strike. Owen won the count on Henrik, and there's a ball to him. It's 1-1. One one. And that one's belted down the right field and gone. And it's a home run by Tommy Hendrick, his fifth of the season. And it makes that a one nothing game just like this. And the Yankees are picking up where they left off. Clip makes up, Mapes up there, takes a ball. And another ball, 2-0 is a count on Mapes. And he hits one foul deep to right, 2-1 and one now. And 3-1 and one now the count on Cliff Mapes. He fouls one back. It's a full count. And that one's inside. And Mapes gets the walk. So he's the runner on first base now. And uh, that's going to uh, let's make sure I get here into the camera. Yeah, that brings up uh, Gene Woodling, who has a one and zero count on him. And there's ball two on Woodling, two and zero the count on him. And there's a little pop up outside third foul. Two and one is the count. There is a ground ball over to the left side, and uh, Appling makes the play, throws over to first, and it's not in time. And uh, there are runners now, first and second for the uh, Yankees, and this is looking. Um, uh, this is looking like it's going to be a long, long day for the White Sox. One out here, runners in first and second. We are in the uh, top of the uh, first inning um, with a one nothing uh, lead for the Yankees as I get all my folders ready. There we go. Here's Jerry Coleman. He's got a 15-game hitting streak, and he hits that one wide at first for a base hit to the right side, scores one run, puts Woodling up at second. It's 2 nothing Yankees just like that. Hank Bauer now takes a strike inside. 0-1 oh the count, and that's lined to the left side foul. 0-2 two, oh two now the count, and that one's off the plate. It's 1-2. and two. Line to the right side for a base hit, and that will score another one. No, it will not. Woodling ends up stopping a third. So the bases are loaded now for Yogi Berra. Berra, who has three home runs this season, hitting 250, and there's a little ground ball over to uh, Cass Michaels at uh, second base. Um, the throw over to first gets Berra. That makes the score now 3 nothing. And uh, we're going to pitch to Bobby Brown. We're not going to walk him, I think. There's a little foul ball by Brown. 0-1 oh, is the count. And um, <clears throat> one and one now the count is Wheeler basically ba basically is he barely prevents that one from being a wild pitch now it's two and one here's a ground ball off the mound for a base hit maybe we should have walked him that will score two it's five nothing Yankees here as Brown makes it to first Vic Rashi now comes up and uh, there's a ball inside to Vic one and zero oh the count there's one high and inside on him it's two and zero oh. and uh, there's ball three low and Howie Howie uh, Judson um, ends up not walking him he's called back as that was a strike. Two strikes in a row that look like balls. Full count now on uh, Rashi, and he uh, fouls one off. It's still a full count on him. And there's one hit over to right center field, and Scal has got it for the out. Five runs for the Yankees in the top of the first inning, and here is Gus Zerniel. There's a strike in there to Zerniel by uh, Vic Rashi, and there's a little ground ball over to uh, the uh, pitcher Rashi. Throws to first for the out. One away, here's Gordon Goldsbury, who takes a strike. And there is a curve on the outer edge for a second strike, 0 2 the count. That's fouled away, still 0 2. And uh, there's one north of the letters, it's 1 and 2 now on him. 2 and 2 is that one's in the dirt. And there's one hit over there to uh, Bauer in right field for the second out. Here comes Don Wheeler. And he fouls one off, 0 and 1 the count now on Wheeler. And there's one up and away, 1 and 1. 1 and 1 is the count. There's a one a foot outside, it's 2 and 1. And there's a line shot towards right center field. Wheeler is able to get over to third base with a triple. And that's the first hit of the game for the White Sox. Cass Michaels up there now, takes a strike, or swings and misses, rather, for a strike. Fouls one back, 0-2 oh, now the count on him. There's a curveball wide to him, and uh, that one is just outside 2-2. Two and two. That's foul back, still 2-2. Two and two. And uh, he takes that one inside for a full count, and uh, fouls one away. Full count still. There's one hit deep to left center field, and that is away from Woodling, in between Woodling and Mapes, and Michaels ends up with a double that scores the run. It's 5-1 to one White Sox now. He Maybe Chicago can come back. Floyd Baker now. Has a 1-1 count on him here. Two outs in the bottom of the first inning, and he has a little ground ball to Jerry Coleman, who throws it to first, and that does it. Phil Rizzuto, now one of the few Yankees not to have a hit already, has a 2-0 count on him. There's ball three outside, 3-0 three the count. There's a strike, 3-1. And, one. and uh, he's popped up, but that's foul. 3-2, and two, full count now on Rizzuto. And uh, there's a little pop-up over to Appling. It's short. He makes the play for the first out. And here's Tommy Hendrick. Hits one deep to right field. Philly has it for the out, two away. And uh, here's Cliff Mapes who takes a ball and a strike. One and one the count now on Mapes, and that one's high. Two and one is the count. There's one hit hard, high, and foul. Two and two now on Mapes. There's a swing and a miss by Cliff Mapes. That uh, retires aside. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Still 5-1 Yankees. Luke Appling up there takes a strike, and there's one outside. One and one the count now on Appling, and fouls one back. It's one and two. 
There's one lined over to second base, but Jerry Coleman jumps up and grabs that one for the out, one away. And here's uh, Dave Philly, hits one over to Brown at uh, third base, throws to first for the out. Jerry Scala now hits a ground ball over to uh, Scooter at short, throws to first base for the out. That does it, top of the third. Gene Woodling up there now. He's got a 1-1 count on him, and that's up high. 2-1 and one now is the count on Woodling, and uh, that's inside 3-1 and one now, and he fouls one off the catcher. Full count now on Gene Woodling. And there is ball four, and uh, that brings up Jerry Coleman. Now what Howie Judson wants to do, Coleman um, hits a bunt over to the uh, pitcher. He does, and that moves up Woodling. Why are you bunting with a four-run lead in the top of the third? It makes no sense. Hank Bauer up there now has a one-and-one -one count on him, and there's one off the outside, off the inside edge, rather. Two-and-one now the count on Bauer, and there's one in there for a strike. is two-and-two. And he crushes one, but foul, two and two still. And there's a long drive to right center field, and that's going to be a base hit for Bauer, and he goes for three, and he's going to make this. Six to one now, Yankees, and here comes Yogi Berra, and I don't know how much longer we're going to stay with Judson. He doesn't have it today. The uh, count on Berra now, two and oh, and uh, that misses up for ball three, and there's ball four to Berra, so Judson unable to find the plate on that one. Brings up Bobby Brown, who has uh, two RBIs with that single today. And uh, there's a little double play ground ball over to uh, Michaels, and he goes to Appling for one, and the throw goes over to Goldsbury to first for the double play, and that does it. We go to the bottom of the third inning, 6-1 to one Yankees. Here comes Judson, and there goes Judson. We're not going to let him pitch any longer. We're going to put in Earl Rapp in to pinch hit for him, and we'll see uh, who else we can put in here. There's a breaking ball in the dirt to Rapp. Want to know the count on him. And there's one in the inner half, a fastball for a strike is one and one. And there's one inside, two and one now the count. There's a flare to the left side, foul, two and two. A little ground ball over to Coleman at second base. Throws to first base for the out, one away. Here is Gus Zerniel, and there's a strike in there to Gus. It's 0 and 1. And there's a little chopper back to Rashi, the pitcher. Throws to first for the out, two away. And here's Gordon Goldsbury. Takes a ball. And uh, takes another ball off the plate. 2 and 0 is the count on him. And there's a fastball low. It's 3 and 0. And there's one on the outside corner for a strike, three and one the count now, and that one misses as well, and that brings up Don Wheeler. And uh, Wheeler had that big uh, triple last time up. He has a strike on him and then a ball. One and one the count now in Don, and there's a fastball inside, two and one the count, and there's one inside again for a three and one count. And there is a little pop-up over to Rizzuto in, uh, at the shortstop who makes the catch for the out. Who are we going to put in there who has a good enough relief rating? Probably uh, Marino Pieretti. He's going to end up being the uh, pitcher here. We may leave him in for a while if he's effective at all. Um, his fifth decision, uh, decision, fifth decision, fifth appearance so far this year, he has no decisions. And it's a 1-1 one -one count now on Vic Rashi. 2-1 and one as that one misses. And that's high and outside for ball three. Three and one the count now. That's off the plate. So he comes in and walks the pitcher promptly. Here comes Phil Rizzuto, who's over two so far today. Takes the ball high and then fouls one off. 1-1 one -one the count on Phil. And, uh, man, that pitch is about as wild as it gets. This is the first time I've actually seen this uh, this particular play-by-play uh, as -play, that pitch um, was uh, way high and away and got past everybody. And uh, that wild pitch ends up allowing Rashi to move up to second base. That's how bad that pitch was. That pitch is so bad that the pitcher, who's one of the slowest hitters out there on the field today, is able to move over to second base. Good job, Pieretti. Uh, we'll stick with him, though, as long as we can. Rizzuto now with a 2-2 count on him, and uh, there's the ground ball over to Baker. He throws over to first for the out. There are There is one away. Here's Tommy Henrik. One home run so far and almost hit one uh, his second time up. <clears throat> and there's one outside to him. It's a 3-0 and count, and that just barely goes in the outside corner for a strike. 3-1 and one now, and there's one well hit over to center field. But uh, Scal is able to go back get that one for the out. Rashi moves up to third, and here's uh, Cliff Mapes. And uh, he hits one over there to between Scala and Philly. And it looked like uh, Philly caught that one, and then Scala crashed into him. And so, yeah, that's uh, that's the way that this one ends up winding up. That's going to be a double there for Mapes. It's a 7-1 to one ball game. And um, I don't know... Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you this: If you are playing in a uh, in a league that's doing like a replay, like let's say you're doing a cooperative 1949 replay, and you can choose any team to play with, you don't want to pick the White Sox. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Two outs now. Here's Gene Woodling with uh, Mapes on at uh, second base. Seven to one Yankees. Two and one is the count on Gene, and uh, two and two now. And uh, there's one over to uh, right center field, and Scala is able to get it this time without crashing into anybody. We go to the bottom in the fourth inning. Here is Cass Michaels, who takes one inside. 1-0 oh the count. 2-0 and oh now. Is that one is inside as well. It's off the plate. It's 3-0, and oh, and that's fouled back. 3-1 and one now the count on Michaels. 
And uh, he holds up, and that's a walk for him. Uh, that's going to be the second walk given up by Rashi. Michael's at first base for Floyd Baker, who takes a strike, and then a ball inside. One and one the count. There's a grounding ball up the middle. Coleman has it, flips to Rizzuto for one, and the relay to first base is not in time. Here comes Luke Appling. And there's a ball high to Appling. It's a 1-0 and count, and there's another ball, 2-0. and And uh, there's a fastball high, 3-0 and the count. And there's one high, and Appling's on at first base, and so he gets the walk. Runner's now on first and second with uh, one out here, Bob, in the fourth inning, and that brings up Dave Philly. 7-1 Yankees, so we're not bunting or anything like that. There's a strike to Philly, and that one misses. 1-1 one one now the count. There's one uh, hit over to right center field, and uh, Bauer has it for the out. Baker's not much of a runner, so we have to hold him, and that brings up Jerry Scala hitting a wonderful 100. He takes a strike on the outside corner, and there's a str- another fastball in there for a strike. 0-2, oh, and 1-2 and two is that one's a ball. And that there's one out of play, still one and two. And that's inside on him. He fouls it away, still one and two. And there's one low, two and two. Now the count on Scala. And he hits that one over the bag of the right side. And that's going to roll around for a little while. And uh, we're going to try to score Luke Appling here. Let's see what happens. And he is safe. That scores two. That doubled by Scala. And uh, that brings up uh, the pitcher, Pieretti, takes a strike. 0 and 1 the count on him. And there's another strike on him. It's 0 and 2. And there's a little pop-up behind first base, and uh, Tommy Hendrick has it for the out. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Two runs for the White Sox in that inning, and that makes it 7-3 to three Yankees. White Sox might have a chance of getting back into this one. Jerry Coleman fouls one away and then hits a little ground ball over to Appling, the shortstop, throws to first for the out, one away. Here's Hank Bauer. He takes a ball and another ball, 2-0. and Now the count on Hank. And uh, the next pitch is in there, and that's ball three. As he um, didn't swing at that one, and there's a strike to him. It's three and one. There's one wide, another ball, base on balls um, that uh, Bauer has um, uh, as a hitter, and that brings up Yogi Berra here with a 1-0 and count on him. There's a little ground ball over to Michaels in second base, and all he can do is uh, bat the ball down a little bit, and that's it. The runners are safe. That makes uh, Bauer on at second and Barra at first now with uh, only one out here in the top of the fifth inning. Here comes Bobby Brown. Brown is one for two, and his head drove in two. Um, there's a 1-1 one, one count now on Brown as that was a foul ball, and there's a little ground ball to the right side, and that one gets through for a hit, and here comes uh, Bauer trying to score. Philly's going to throw home, and Bauer is safe, and that makes this an 8-3 to three ball game. Up comes Vic Rashi. And uh, he's looking to bunt, fouls one off at the plate, and bunts one over to the right where it goes foul. 0-2 oh, now the count, and he fouls one off again. It's uh, still 0-2. Oh, There's one beneath the lead, knees for a ball. It's 1-2, and two, and that one's in there for a strike, and they strike out Rashi. That brings up Phil Rizzuto now. Still no hit in this game, 0-3. Oh, and uh, there's a ball to Rizzuto. One and one the count now on the scooter, and he hits one deep to right field, and Philly goes back and gets it for the out, and we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and Gus Zerniel will be the uh, first hitter. He takes the ball, and another ball low, 2-0 and oh the count. And 3-0, um, oh, as that one was too high. And Zerniel takes a strike, 3-1 and one the count. That's on the outside corner for a strike. It's 3-2 and two now, full count on him, and uh, still a full count. And he misses there. That's the eighth walk that Zerniel has taken this season. He only took 15 walks in real life. I mean, we're not even through 20 games yet. So uh, that shows you that uh, that little balance that we'll talk about from time to time here, sometimes we'll favor the batter, sometimes we'll favor the pitcher. And as far as Zerniel's at-bats have been, it seems that he has uh, kind of been on the pitcher's side of whether he takes a walk or not. Interesting stuff here when you're talking about the theory behind this game. Gordon Goldsberry up there now takes a ball. Want to know the count on him, and he hits one over to right field to the gap, and that will score Zerniel, and, and Goldsberry winds up in there with a triple. And so now it's 8-4. to four. That brings up Don Wheeler. Now 8-4 to four Yankees in this game. It's not over yet. And there's a foul at the plate by Wheeler. It's 0-1 the count. And there's one over the outside corner. It's 0-2 now, and that one misses high. 1-2 and two now the count on Wheeler, and that's high and outside. It's 2-2. Two and two. And there's one out and away, three and two, full count now on him. Another full count. There's a foul ball, still full. And that one's inside for a walk. And now there are runners in first and third for the uh, White Sox. And that brings up Cass Michaels. Michaels comes up there hitting 246. And uh, he hits a little chopper over to second base. It's a double play ball. Let's see if they uh, what they do. No, that's not going to be a double play ball. Coleman goes to first with it. They allowed the run to score. It's 8-5. to five. Wheeler able to move up to second. There's only one out. And here's Floyd Baker who takes a strike. 0-1 oh, the count on him. 1-1 one and one now as that ball misses. And there's 1-2 and two count as he swings and misses. Lays off one. It's 2-2. Two and two, And there's one a foot inside. Full count now on Baker. And he went around and struck out on that one. Two outs now, and here comes Luke Appling. Luke Appling hitting, hitting only 194. If you want to know why the White Sox are playing poorly, it's because of this guy. It's 0-2 now on Appling, and there's a ball outside, 1-2 the count. And he gets a base hit in the right field, and that's going to score a run. It is 8-6. to six. Up comes Dave Philly now, 8-6 to six Yankees, and this is much, much different than what we've seen. And there's a wild pitch to Philly, 
and uh, that p- allows Appling to go up to second. And here's the next pitch from Rashi. That's a strike, one and one the count. And there's a ground ball up the middle. And man, oh man, Coleman goes to Philly with that one, and or not to Philly. Um, uh, and uh, he was throwing to Henrik is what was happening, and Philly with a uh, head-first slide and just barely is able to beat that one out, and that might be a significant play here in this ball game. Now we have a, a decision to make. So when I was uh, looking at this and I was wondering what to do for the lineup here, since the White Sox at the moment don't really have a center fielder, um, I decided to put uh, Jerry Scala in this game, um, figuring that they weren't probably going to have um, a chance of uh, doing much at all. We have something to think about, though, now because um, the uh, White Sox uh, might be able to get back in this game with runners in first and third, although with two outs. And uh, so Scala, as you can see, really not much of a hitter and not much of a hitter in real life either. Um, let's take a look here at the uh, batting lineup and see who we have. Can Pat Seary? So Pat Seary was the big home run hitter for the White Sox. Can he play center field? No, he, don't, he can only play right. But Philly can play center. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pinch hit with Pat Seary. Seary, so far this season, uh, we've only used him for uh, one game, three at-bats. Now, you can see he didn't have much of an average that year. This guy was a big home run hitter back in 1948. Um, not so much of one in 1949, but if you're going to pinch hit with anybody, you're going to want to pinch hit with this guy. Pat Seary's the pinch hitter now. Takes a fastball in the inside corner. Runners in first and third. There's another fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-2, the count on him. And uh, that one misses, one and two now the count. And there's ball two, two and two the count on him. And there's a sinker wide, full count now on Siri. And he takes strike three, and that's a real, real shame. Um, but we're going to keep him in this ball game, and we're going to put him over in right field, and uh, Philly is going to be the new uh, center fielder. Um, so that's the end of the game for Scala, and uh, Siri is going to stay into this one. I would love to look up Pat Siri and see what happened to him in 1949. In fact, I'll put him on my list right here. And uh, we'll take a little bit of a look there as uh, Henrik ends up hitting a fly ball over to Siri now in right field for the out. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can uh, figure out here. So there's one out. Um, I'm going to put a little note here. One out here in the top of the sixth inning. And uh, this game, which I thought was going to be um, a whole bunch of nothing, has turned into a lot of something. Cliff Mapes up there with one out. Hits a little uh, pop-up over to left center field. No one can get to it, and that's a base hit for Mapes. He's two for three today. Here's Gene Woodling who takes the ball and fouls one back. One and one now the count on Woodling. And uh, there's a little ground ball over to uh, Appling, the shortstop. Mapes was moving on that play. He moves up to second base. Two outs now for Jerry Coleman. He hits one through the right side past Goldberry, and the uh, Yankees score a run. is now 9-6. to six. Up comes Hank Bauer. This is the problem. It's that pitching that's the problem, and there's a uh, little comebacker to the pitcher. Pioretti drops it and then is able to recover and throw out the runner. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. That's going to be it for this uh, pitcher, and we're going to put Fred Hancock in as a pinch hitter, um, not knowing what else to do. Hancock has not seen any action so far this season, and the reason why is um, obvious. We'd rather have Appling in there than this guy who can't hit. Two and one now the count, and he fouls one back, and uh, Bauer is not able to get that one. Two and two still. And uh, full count now is on Han- Hancock, and uh, there's one on the inside corner for a strike, and there's one away. Here's Gus Zerniel, bottom of the sixth inning, 96 Yankees. It's been crazy. One and one the count now on Zerniel, and that's a fastball in the first strike. It's one and two. Two and two now is that one missed the target. Two and two on Gus. That's up high. Three and two now the count on him. There's a little... Fastball that's rolled over to the left side to Bobby Brown. He makes a good play on it. Throws the first for the out two away, and that brings up Gordon Goldsbury. Goldsbury one for two today um, and uh, calls the ball. One and oh the count now. There's a little ground ball over to Phil Rizzuto. It's short, and he makes the play over to first for the out, and that does that. We'll uh, put in Billy Pierce here for the uh, White Sox as we go to the top of the seventh inning, and he will face Yogi Berra right off the uh, right off the bat. Pierce with an 0-2 record, ERA, though, of 287, and he's uh, pitching fairly well. 0-2 the count now on Berra. And that one's fouled back. Still an 0-2 count. And uh, Barra swings on and misses that one. He strikes out. Up comes Bobby Brown. There's a little ground ball over to Baker, the third baseman, who throws that over to first for the out. Two away. That brings up Vic Rashi. Rashi takes a fastball high for a ball. 1-0 the count on him. And there's one in the dirt. 2-0 now. No swing on that. There's a little ground ball over to Baker at third base. He makes the play. Throws over to first base for the out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Don Wheeler up there now, takes a strike, 0 1 the count. And there's a ground ball over to uh, Henrik, who flips to Rashi covering at first, one away. Cass Michaels now takes the ball off the plate, 1 0. There's a little ground ball over to the right side, and uh, Coleman has it. The second baseman throws to first for the out, two away, and here's Floyd Baker. There's a pitch high to Baker, 1 0 the count. There's one inside, it's 2 0. There's a pitch high again, 3 0 now the count on Baker. 
And uh, he's taken all the way, and that's ball four, and that brings up Luke Appling now with the runner on first base. Appling, with that struggling average, could really use a big hit here. 1-0 and is the count on him. 2-0 and is uh, that one misses low. And there's a fastball on the inside corner for a strike 2-1 and one now. That's foul back. It's 2-2. Two and two. And uh, full count now on uh, Appling, and there's ball four, and that's close, but not quite close enough. That is the seventh walk given up by Vic Rashi, and that's been his Achilles heel today. That brings up Dave Philly, who's one for three. Philly hitting left-handed, of course, against the right-handed Rashi. Takes a strike. There's a ball inside, one and one the count, and that one's high. It's two and one. There's a fastball lined into right center field for a hit, and that's going to score one, and Appling goes over to third base. It's a 9-7 to seven ball game. We have the same situation we just had in the last inning, and that brings up Pat Seary with two outs. Runners on first and third, and that one misses inside, and another one misses out inside, 2-0 and and the count. There's one rolled to third past Brown, and that will score a run, and it's now a 9-8 to eight ball game, and I can't believe this. I cannot believe what we're seeing in this game. The White Sox have come back in this one. Pat Seary, who endeared himself in 1948 to White Sox fans, you know he had four home runs in one game. Um Pretty good for a guy who barely played in 1949. Again, like I said, we're going to have to look up and see what happened. But uh, he gets a base hit, not a base hit, but there's an error, rather, on Brown. And uh, that allows um, one run to score, and uh, that brings up Billy Pierce, who's going to be taken out, of course, for a pinch hitter. It doesn't really matter who we put in. We're going to put Yankovsky in. There's nobody on this bench. Runners on first and second now, bottom of the seventh inning, and uh, there's a ball to Yankovsky, 1-0 the count. And there's one grounded by the mound over to uh, Rizzuto, who just makes the play. Flips it over to Jerry Coleman for the force out, and we go to the top of the eighth inning. We're going to put in uh, uh, Kuzava into uh, pitch. Top of the eighth inning, and this has become a a very, very exciting game. Here's Phil Rizzuto leading this one off for the Yankees, and he hits one down the third baseline foul. Rizzuto 0 for 4, 1 and 1 the count now on him. And there's one inside that misses. It's 2 and 1. That swung on a miss, 2 and 2. Now the count on Phil. That's ball three inside, full count now on him. And there's one high, and Rizzuto draws the walk. So Rizzuto able finally to get on base today, and there's a strike to Tommy Hendrick. Rizzuto always a um, threat to score, and he goes to second after that throw to first base that we had, and uh, he wasn't even close. We were able to throw him out, stealing. That one goes Kuzava to Goldsbury to Appling. <coughs> and so now with one out here, top of the eighth inning, here's Tommy Hendrick, and uh, one and one now the count is on him, and there's strike two to him as that one painted the black. One and two now the count on him, and there's a little ground ball over to Michaels, who makes a good play on the bad bounce. So is the first for the out, two away. Cliff Mapes now, apologies for the dog in the background. Mapes takes the ball, and there's a strike as he swings and misses. One and one the count now, and he lunges at that one and misses as one and two. And there's strike three, and Kuzava got him with that one on the outside corner, and we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Gus Zerniel will lead this one off again. There's a first pitch swing and a miss by Zerniel, and there's one inside tie, one and one the count, and that's a strike, one and two now, and that's low and inside, two and two now. And uh, there's one grounded hard to the right side, and Henrik has it and flips it over to Rashi covering a first for the out, one away, and here's Gordon Goldsberry. And that one's up and inside, one and oh the count, two and oh now as that's in the dirt. And that one's very high. 3 0 now the count on Gordon, and uh, 3 and 1 as that's a strike. There's a fastball in there for a second strike. Full count now. And there's a ground ball over to third base, and uh, Brown unable to make the play. Goldsbury is in there for an uh, infield hit. That's going to bring up Joe Page with the runner on first base. And uh, here comes Don Wheeler, and we're going to hit and run. Let's see if this works. And uh, Goldsbury's off of this pitch. That one's hit foul. 0-1 oh, the count. And there's one chopped foul outside of third. It's an 0-2 oh, count. 0-2 oh, still the count. And there's one high. 1-2 one and two now the count. 2-2 two and two on Wheeler. That one missed. And there's another uh, throw to first. No balk called. And there's strike three on Wheeler, and that'll strike him out two away now. And here comes Cass Michaels, still runner on first base. Goldsbury is the potential tying run. There's a strike to Michaels and a ball to him, one and one the count. There's a shot over to right field, and uh, now what do we do? Do we uh, have him go or not? I think we're not going to have him go. And uh, that means that there are uh, runners on at first and second here in the bottom of the eighth inning for Floyd Baker. Baker, probably not who you want to uh, have hitting in the fifth hole, but there's not much else we have to choose from. He swings and misses at that first one, that's shoulder high, and then takes one outside, one and one the count. That's outside for balls, two and one, and that's down the heart of the plate, two and two the count on him now. There's a ground ball over to Rizzuto, who flips that one over to Coleman, does it the easy way for the out. We go to the top of the ninth inning, and uh, here is Gene Woodling, and he, he takes a ball. 
and there's one outside of the knees of the fastball, one and one. There's a breaking ball in their first strike is one and two, and that's a fastball high, two and two. And uh, Woodling swings and misses at that br- awful, filthy breaking ball for the strikeout. Here's Jerry Coleman, who takes uh, two balls wide, two and no the count now. Fouls that one off his own foot. It's two and one. There's a ground ball towards third base. Baker has it, throws over to first base. Not a great f- throw, but uh, Goldsberry is able to go over to get it. And here's Hank Bauer, two and no now the count on Hank. And there's a strike to him, two and one now. Here's one popped up, and uh, Michaels has that for the uh, out. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning, and here we go. Here's Luke Appling. Appling so far today is one for two, has scored twice. He takes a ball, one and no the count, and there's a fastball down the heart of the play, one and one, and that's in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one now, and there's a fastball that he takes for a ball, three and one the count. We'll have him take here, and uh, he swings at that one, though I told him to take. He missed the sign. Full count now on Luke. And, boy, he swung at ball four there and uh, ends up striking out one away. And here's Dave Philly. Dave Philly, two for four in this ball game, takes a strike, and then a ball. One and one the count now on him. There's a ground ball over to uh, Rizzuto at short, makes the play and throws the first for the out. And here comes Pat Seary. And uh, Page misses low, one and no the count. And there's a strike to him. It's one and one. Two and one now the count on Siri, and there's one grounded over to the right side, and Coleman has it and throws over to first base for the out, and there's the ball game. So the uh, Yankees able to hold on to win this one despite a fierce comeback by the White Sox, and uh, that's all she wrote. Yankees win this one 9-8, to eight, and I think their winning streak is now up to seven straight games. Like I said before, these White Sox are not a great team. There's not a whole lot more to choose from. Not much more we could do with that. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.